Hello YouTube, it's me again for another version of the Skyhawk, another update. Ugh, excuse me, uh, this makes version 38. Excuse me again. And this is a very big update for me, so we're going to dive in. So, uh, I was working with the doors today, just screwing around. Um, and I really didn't get anywhere besides I moved the air intake so that it curved upwards. And it came into this uh, glass one screen right here. So I'm going to break down the top of this off so that you guys can see. Uh, so as I was saying, I broke. Uh, I just moved the air intake to back there, as you can see. And it moved over to the point that I could put a glass window piece on like that you guys still can't really see that all right well i got my flashlight here so so i got this glass windscreen here and inside are six of the long star wars blaster rifles and then i got this side also and this side has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the small blaster rifles in there. So yeah. Um, the doors I reinforced, if you remember last time, I only had two of those. So I put another two on. So that really helped hold that on. Uh, it's still while flying in the cockpit. They still, in combat, they still uh, just blow off and back. And then they leave the, the gun stay there. Uh, there is an ejection button in the cockpit. The co-pilot has that button. So if they need to drop either one for any reason, being like a care package almost, they can do that. Um, but they're mostly designed to stay on there for troop access whenever they land as like a reinforcement bulk or like, you know. If a homeworld is being invaded and you have a bunch of civilians, you can arm them easily with that pod. Or if you need any extra ones for the troops in the bay, you're, you're good for that. So that should be uh, good. So six and seven in there, so that makes 13 blasters in total. Uh, another thing I changed, I added that door instead of my two red octon doors, doors because... um. Personally, I like this door now a lot better because it's easier to get what I have inside out. I also changed what I had inside. Uh, if you can remember the gun rack from last time, I took all the guns off and put them in the side bipod so I didn't need the gun rack anymore. So I have this in here. And what's inside of this is the uh, troop Gatling gun. So that's what's in there. And it can easily be dropped like a care package as well while, uh, during flight. Uh, I have another one of those boxes here. It has crystals on it. Uh, now, I don't know what clones would be doing with crystals, but I do have another box. So yeah, if I wanted to put that in there, I could. But for right now, I'm just going to have one in there. Uh, so yep, that's that. That's the two major body changes that I've had. And now then I'm gonna show you guys what I did to the top. Um, I moved the side pods backwards so that the engine is touching the wing mounts. And that was helpful. I don't remember how it was helpful, but it was helpful. Um, I also have switch the sensor relay so that the two domes go before the two antennas so the antennas are now back here instead of up here in the front uh, I also have this thing on here it is an electronic electronic jamming device if um, you guys don't know what that is that just jams radar and such from the enemy uh, unless you're working on a certain frequency, which I hope you guys would not know. Or, well, not you guys, but the enemy would not know so we could use it. 
Um, I also have this light here. It's a pretty pointless light. It's just there for show decoration. Um, yep, and that's it. So that's all I've updated. Now then I'm going to show you some of my favorite parts that I've used in this. And one of the big benefactors to making this would be... Oh, that's black. That's not a good example. Would be this part. Uh, I absolutely love these parts. They are extremely helpful with turning things on their side, as seen here. And it, it's really helped me out here. As well as these little parts. They're also great for helping people out with mounting things on their side via the holes. So if you don't have very many of these, but you have a lot of these, then you can go ahead and get some of your circle pieces and go ahead and place those in there like so. Uh, you get the same effect with these as you do these but these set you off so if you saw this gap here that's because I used these instead of uh, these. So yes. Uh, those are my favorite parts that I've used so far. But I hope to incorporate my third favorite part, which uh, are these parts. They are hinged pieces, and I love hinged pieces. So I hope I get to use these on here somewhere. But I'm not sure where I'll use them, but I, ho I hope I do. I really do. They're absolutely lovely to use. Very easy to use as well. So I hope I get those on there somewhere. Uh, so yeah, it's that. Got the gunship broken down. Uh, so yep. Remember, comment, rate, and subscribe.